No? You still don't like my Sophie? Yeah, oh! Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. I know your game, mate. You're like, look at this, look at this. Oh, disappear! Maybe it was a ghost. A ghost guard from wars, time past. Or maybe it's this guy who's just reappeared. One of the two, but I'm gonna go with ghost. It's maybe it's a ghost. Locked in a pattern. It's just constantly repeating itself. He's just constantly gonna go over here. And he's gonna just disappear once again. We'll see, we'll see. We've got, to, we've got to investigate this paranormal activity here. Like, see there, it's vanished. No, there's no replacement. Oh no. Endless loop. It's one of those one of those ghosts. It's like and we're interrupting the path. It's like having some presence on their afterlife. It, it, it's quite strange. They, they get almost to their journey, where they were going to die the, that fateful day when the ship was destroyed in the war, and they are doomed to repeat the path to ever forth. Something or other. I don't know. Welcome back, anyway. Ghost stories and stuff. Let, 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 let's go. We'll see if there's any more ghosts around. Where are we going? Uh, Aladi Sea Haven. I'm ready. We'll be departing momentarily. Bon voyage. Pay no attention to the ghosts. No, no. You are now able to go to Rize Maxia. Rize Maxia is the country that lies beyond the ocean. You can now act freely in some of the areas there, including a large sea haven. You'd expect. More character stories may occur in towns in Rize Maxia, too. So be sure to explore whenever you can. Uh, You're all okay. It's the informant lady. I'm Jolene, remember? I just feel horrible about what happened. I don't suppose I could bribe my way back into your good graces. What are these? Winged boots. Just a little something something to lighten your load and make you love me again. What are you talking about? <laughs> a star reporter like you ought to be able to figure it out. By the way, an agent from Spurious is staying at the inn here. Toodles. Maybe she should be a reporter. <laughs> Poor Lea. Just putting herself down. You can now dash by holding down R2 while moving. You can move quickly, but it's hard to turn on a dime while doing so. Moreover, if you dash into an enemy, you will start the battle surrounded. Make good use of it and run like the wind. Oh! And one more thing. You can... Go to some areas in Rize Maxia from Aladi Sea Haven at this point. By going to new towns, new events with your party members may occur. And you can buy new equipment too. There's all kinds of cool stuff to check out. Time to dash out. Oh dear. Into a new adventure on Rize Maxia. Let's try that though. What, what, was, the, what was the dash? We made it! Huh? You okay there, Rolo? Clearly seasick. Clearly seasick. Right, so where am I going to go? Head to the inn at the Aladi Sea Haven. Alright. What was that? Is that a chest over there? No. Looking for cats as well, remember? So is that, I'm just keeping an eye out. Like, I thought this was maybe a cat, but no, it's a bird. It's clearly a bird. Well, that was a cat over there then. It's just some guy. Is that a cat all the way over there? Let's go! We have to investigate. Is it shiny at least? No, it was a bird again. Ooh, he's got some stuff. I thought I saw a cat here. The dog. Ah, right, well. Right, so, stuck. Right, the inn. Was that where I'm gonna go? Head for the inn. Yes. Let's go, 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 go. Close enough. I heard a cat. I definitely heard a cat. Is that in here? There's a cat. Lotus. Remember what the cat lady said? She said sometimes the cats we send out might bring other cats back with them. What fun! I mean, that already happened, so, you know. Hello, hello. Proceed through the main story? Well, of course. What do you want? Uh, uh, where does it hurt? I'm a doctor. We've confirmed your arrival at Aladi Sea Haven. Recover the data from the Pursuit Agent, and return to Company HQ. Sorry about that. Here's the data. 
but these poor people. Recovering the data is your top priority. Bring it to HQ immediately. What's so special about it? It's a copy of all the fractured dimension data that the former director Kresnik had collected and analyzed. Huh? Fractured dimension? So you had a run-in with Julius? Yes. We had him outnumbered ten to one, and yet he still decimated us. But at least we got the data off him. Get it back to HQ. It'll really help us improve our ability to detect waymarkers. You all go on ahead. I'll take care of these people. Need a hand, Princess? I prefer the company of Rowan, thank you. This old geezer would be honored to help, young mistress. <laughs> Good thing I have thick skin. I like her face during that. There we are, Chapter 6, Spirius Corporation. Actually proceeding with the actual story now. You beat up his former co-workers, huh? I want to believe he had a good reason, but... Ugh. Yeah, head to Spirius Corporation. It's like, that's back where we were. It's like, we, we've got a long way to travel back. What's that? What's going on over there? Well, maybe there's another cat, but no, it's just a little girl. Just a little girl. Yeah, we got to go back to Triglyph. Yeah, all this way, just to go back to Triglyph. This is why we need the fast travel. It's like, you can imply we did all this with a fast travel on the world map. I've got to, I've got to investigate that. Like, right, it's like, pre pressing R3, got nothing. But at least we've got dash, I suppose, that's something. But if I'm going to run at things, it's not really going to be helpful, is it? I need to do everything properly. So we've got to run through here, catch the train. It's just, uh, it's like, it could be so much simpler. The amount of times I remember running through this, actually, so I don't think we do get fast travel back. That's going to be a constant complaint with me, by the way. Unless it does come back. One of the two. It's not too far, but it's just like, it just, I understand, like, in some regards why we don't have it, because the whole, we can't travel anywhere we want, but it's like, to places we've already been, it would make sense, right? Let's look this up. Let's look this up on the internet. Tales of Zillia to fast travel. Google go. What we got? Where do you get the world map for Tales of Zillia 2? That's the first hit. Oh, apparently we do get it because there's, there's a video somewhere called Finally Fast Travel. <laughs> it's like, finally get fast travel. So it's it's got to be a thing. I think maybe we get it with the Spirius Corp, actually. There's vague memories coming back here and there. It's, it's odd. But when we get the next scene, I'll go off and do some investigations during that. I do like the design of this place in here, though. Wow, this place is huge! <laughs> and as I was saying, it's very, very Art Deco. It's just... it's... it's nice. I do love my Art Deco these days. Like, look at that over there. Lovely design. Lovely design. Anyway, star thing. We've been expecting you, Mr. Kresnik. Please deliver the item in question directly to the CEO himself. Look at this place! It's so big and pretty! Indoor voice, Leia. Who are these people? Yes, apparently we get it in this place. We actually get it in here, so anyway, it's friends, of course! My friends. I believe only Mr. Kresnik was invited. We're a package deal. I'm Luger's friend, and advisor. And I'm the acting guardian of these miners. I'm acting guardian number two. And I'm... I'm... Acting guardian of this kitty! One moment, please. Acting guardian number two, huh? Look who's talking! All of you may enter. Mr. Bakur is most impressed by the loyalty you engender in others, Mr. Kresnik. What does that mean? Oh. Just dropped off here then. Alright then. So do we go anywhere? Ah, there's a cat! Oh, it's little point. Patches! So cute. So cute and little kitties. What was that? Another check? 
Just found, randomly found some money down, down the back of one of these chairs. I mean, it doesn't exactly have a back where you could leave some money or anything like that, though. Just looking around, maybe there's some more kitties or something like that. But yes, it should be this chapter where we actually get the fast travel, finally. So I can stop complaining about it. Yay! Why, Luger, I've been waiting for you. Thanks. Any leads on your brother's whereabouts? Well, as it turns out, I have news for you of both varieties. Good and bad. Which one first? Both. Hmm. Let's start with the good news. I would like to recruit you as an agent in our corporation. Huh? Don't act so surprised. It makes perfect sense. I've been keeping my eye on you this whole time. You never back down from difficult situations. More importantly, you have the strength to face them. I'd wager you've been doing more than just keeping an eye on him. You've been testing Luger. You can't get the true measure of a man by observing from a distance. You said there was bad news, too. Mr. Kresnik's going on the police's most wanted list. So they're gonna throw Luger in jail? Your life's about to get a lot tougher. But if you become one of my agents, I'll keep the police off your back, even if I have to get pushy. He doesn't even have a choice. This is blackmail. I failed to mention that an agent's salary is considerable. You'll be killing two birds with one stone. You can avoid arrest and pay off that massive loan almost overnight, provided you show me results, of course. Huh? What kind of results? No fractured dimensions. Fractured dimensions? Surely you've noticed them. Worlds like ours, but not? Think of this flower as our prime dimension, a world where history flows in a way that's familiar to us. But it's not the only blossom. There are offshoots. When one of these appears, it disperses soul energy from the prime dimension. Our dimension, in other words. Wait, it disperses? That can't be good. And what happens if we don't do anything about it? Ultimately, souls will vanish from the prime dimension. Of course, this means humans will die out as well. Whoa, whoa, time out. This all sounds pretty far-fetched. Olympias going dry the failure of spyrite technology. What if I were to tell you those effects were caused by the loss of soul energy from the prime dimension? It can't be true. Oh, but it is. <sighs> Spirius has been working to save our world by eliminating its counterparts in the fractured dimensions. How could you possibly eliminate an entire world? <sighs> that is a question for our friend Luger here. His Chromatis transformation has the power we need to infiltrate and destroy these parasitic realities. The power to destroy a world. No fair! I have no idea what everybody's talking about! Luger, for the sake of this world, the true world, you must help us. I mean, we've got to say yes in some regard, because... That's the entire premise of this story. Now I've actually got to the actual proper story, which is, yeah, there's these other dimensions which are draining soul energy from the main dimension. We've got to destroy them. Simple as that. Is this what Julius has been up to? He was the best of the best. Julius eliminated more than a hundred fractured dimensions. Mm. We believe it's very likely that former director Kresnik has fled into one such dimension. Find him and you'll kill three birds with one stone. <laughs> That's a good lad. You're officially a DODA agent of Spirius. <sighs> one thing I still don't get. What's causing these fractured dimensions? It's not a what, it's a who. A great spirit of Canaan. Kronos. The land of Canaan? Another great spirit? 
There is nothing to fear. We have in our possession the power needed to oppose him. Come to the underground training area, and I will show you how to wield it. I have to admit, being an agent for the Spurious Corporation is kind of a big deal. But are you sure about this? Alright, as you can see, we got a bonus scene with Leia. That's because we've got her affinity up and we've done part of her story, etc, etc, etc. Now, I do know I got this option wrong. It's a good job I've got this list of options in front of me now, because the one I want is not really, because that is plus Leia. Simple as that. Not really. Thought so. But if the CEO says you can handle it, that's a big thumbs up! I mean, my editor will barely let me take down a classified ad. This could be your big chance to make it big. Ugh, what reporter uses big twice in one sentence? I'm just gonna hold on her face for a while. Right, so now you see why it's important I choose the right selections, etc. And with this, there's not much choice in it, is because we want to see those scenes. Bisley Bakor certainly lives up to his reputation. He certainly makes an impression. He's like. Mm. Well, yeah, yeah, L1 seems the better of the two here. The King of Olympias. That's not far from the truth. Bakor casts a heavy shadow over the world of Olympian politics. If he wanted to, he could probably topple the government or single-handedly start his own war. I've been reading back issues of the paper, and it seemed like the Spurious Corporation was a driving force behind the Otherworld Reactor Plan. But as soon as the schism was destroyed, they immediately switched sides to back Marcia's moderate government. I wonder what they hope to achieve with that change. This doesn't sound like any king I've ever heard of. Well, regardless, he's Luger's boss now. Let's just make sure we're the ones using him and not the other way around. That makes sense. We can't accomplish much without him. But be careful. I don't think that Bakur was lying, but I'm pretty sure he wasn't telling us everything either. I agree. Wow, he said more than one word in a sentence. Amazing. Right, so anyway, we need to... Go to the underground training facility. How does Beasley know about Luger's power? Not exactly the tailored suits and financial reports sort of CEO, huh? Oh, I thought that was going to be the elevator. Where is the elevator? Is it over here, is it? Ah, there. Yeah, yes, it's the Art Deco looking... Just look at that. The design there is just, just amazing. Like, like the like inlaid separate layers in the background behind it is just very nice, very nice. Um, underground, so first floor, maybe? Not sure exactly where we're meant to go here. To get to the right place. Maybe it's this one over here, and then it takes me further down. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so is there anything in here? Like a kitty cat? Don't hear any meows. No meow. Meow items, maybe. Maybe buy some items. Let's see here. Apple gel, we're fine with orange gel. We've got those. Yeah, we're pretty much fine. Pretty much fine. Okay, let's go. Well, this place doesn't look ominous at all. Whoa! Never thought something like this would be down here. Must have cost Spurious a pretty penny. Again, if he's like the king of this world, then price is no object. Um, uh, yes? Oh, I expected a battle to start immediately, like right there, like that's the entire point. No. Oh, I remember this place. Don't we come back here later for some stupid reason? I don't know what it is. What, what, what do I press here? There's a guy down there. Currently disabled. Enter a code. Sure, something to do with a code later. So many vague memories. Steal yourself, Agent. I wish we could ease into this, but time is of the essence. You'll have to train the hard way. Actual combat. 
Don't interfere. <laughs> All right, here we go then. A tutorial that explains the controls will be given during this battle. View the tutorial. Well, yeah. When the chromatis gauge has been stored up, press L3 and R3 to transform. Oh, I've got to do that now, okay. What's happening? That's next form activate, obviously. If the chromatis gauge is full, you can transform any time, even if you are currently down, staggered, or being hit. When chaining an attack with X, you can press circle to unleash powerful moves, only available while transformed. As you can see. Lovely. The move will depend on how high your combo with X is. Press X and circle to use power swing. Power swing. Press X X circle to use hex hex and tier. Hex. Power swing. No, I pressed X X. Accenture, though. Alright, press circle and the left stick in a different directions to attack in various ways. While transformed, the chromatis gauge will deplete over time or while you'll take damage. Show me what you're doing. I was expecting Rado to just go, meow, but no. <sighs> Something's wrong with Luger. That's enough for now. Still no match for Julius, though. So that's a Chromatis. Where'd Luger learn that trick? It's a family trait. He's one of Kresnik's descendants. See his watch? It's a Kresnik heirloom. Passed down for generations. It's the key to the transformation. Though it would seem Julius has been using yours all this time. That's not Luger's. It's my daddy's. We're talking about Kresnik, the Genesis Sage, right? The one who wielded the Lance of Will? The Sage Kresnik? Yes, I seem to recall that name from Rize Maxian legend. So the tale is different here in Olympias? If Kresnik wasn't a Sage, what was he? A wretched plaything for the spirits. They granted... No, they cursed the Kresnik line with the Chromatis. But Kresnik's curse is humanity's weapon. And you, Luger, will master it. <sighs> I will contact you when we detect a new fractured dimension. Until then, rest up. Look, Luger, I really hate to bring this up, but you've been neglecting your loan payments lately. Nobody likes a financial deadbeat. So much for resting up. Yep, yeah, it's time to pay off our debt again. Chapter 6, Spirius Corporation, the end. Wait, where's my fast travel? I was promised fast travel. Alright then. Fine. Luger has now become an agent of Spirius due to various circumstances, but he's still got to pay off his debt. Why not try going to areas in Rize Maxia you haven't visited yet while working to pay it back? You have learned the following skills which can be used while transformed. Kresnik, Speed Soils. Soils? Spoils, yep. These can increase the time you can remain transformed and also increase the effectiveness of the Allium Orb, so be sure to set them from the menu and put them to use. I forgot about the Allium Orbs. Think about it. I haven't done anything with them at all for a while. Yeah, may maybe I should change these. Like, so yeah, we can have Breeze, which is just, you know, the windy ones. But we could also have Lightning Bolt, which gets us some of the, um, is it fire? Yeah, fire ones. We'll have Lightning Bolt. Let's see here, Shine. Let's go with, let's go with that for him. We'll just switch switch some around. That's that's good for her actually. You two hold on to those for now. Go with that because we'll get a wind lance. Although we do get Ooh, severed fate. Hmm. Yeah, we'll hold hold off on the others for now. 
Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? What's happening? Too bad you can't just transform away your debt, huh? Yeah. Looks like you've gotten a little stronger, Luger. All thanks to me and Rolo, I bet. Oh, man. Writing for the paper has made me realize how truly horrible my penmanship is. When I turned in my last article, I could see pity in my editor's eyes. I gotta really practice now. I was, I was gonna say, like, like, do I have a chance to speak at all in this? Anyway, one way woman. A great spirit that lives in the land of Canaan. We gotta find this Colonel Sky and ask him where Canaan is. You're really obsessed with that place, aren't you? What's wrong with that? I've got a one track mind. You do? It's. It's. It's true. But it sounds rude. I suppose that's true, in a way. But sometimes you shouldn't pursue things too intently. Like how a woman can stifle a man with too much attention, when, in reality, he just needs a little space to sow his wild oats. Alvin? You're telling this to a child? You want to know what my daddy said? Don't ask anyone for anything that you wouldn't be willing to give them yourself. Oh, Yeah, he's right. That was always my problem. Right? And you sure love your daddy. I don't love him that much. But he really seems to like me. So, I've got to keep the promise I made to him. No matter what. Indeed. Indeed. Right, we should be able to do some more of the um, character chapters now. Just a moment. I almost forgot to give you your world map. It's standard issue for all DODA agents. I'm sure it will come in handy in your pursuit of Director Kres... Pardon me, the former Director Kresnik. About goddamn time. Whew. You can now view the world map by pressing R3. Places you've already been to will be recorded there. By selecting your destination of choice, you can warp to that locale instantly. Ain't that cool? Damn right it is. Wanting this for a while. Like, I can, oh. It's so nice to have this back. Like, like Duval. Huh. Who we got to speak to in Duval? I thought it was Triglyph we just had an event at. Uh -huh -huh. Let's go have a look then. So, where have we got here? Who, who have we got here? That's the question. Don't see an exclamation on the map here at all. I mean, there's Lee's. Eventually. Eventually. There's Lee's. Hmm. I missed my opportunity to get Elise's chapter one? Entirely possible. Entirely possible. But there's Alvin's. Right, so we're going to end this part here, and in the next part we'll start off with Alvin's chapter one. So we'll see them. Ta-ta for now.